Do you have a list of emails from customers or clients just sitting around? Have you thought about sending emails but don't know where to start? If so, then this video is perfect for you. I'm gonna go through some key best practices and tips to make sure you get started with confidence on email marketing. Email marketing has been and still is one of the most powerful methods for connecting with current and prospective clients directly. With the immediacy of social media, you might think it has overtaken email as the fastest way to reach new and current customers, but the truth is on average, 21% of emails are open within the first hour. And this is only further backed up by the fact that most people check their emails at least 12 times a day. The takeaway here is email is a fast and effective way to reach your audience. Now for some important best practices. To get the most out of your email marketing efforts, keep the following in mind. First and foremost, always use an email marketing program. Use a program like MailChimp, Constant Contact, ConvertKit, or something similar for sending marketing emails. When you send marketing emails out of your regular email inbox, there can be a deliverability issue and you may violate regulations set by the Can Spam Act, which if you don't know what that is, any electronic mail message, the primary purpose of, which is the commercial advertisement or promotion of a service. For example, a message to former customers announcing a new product line must comply with this law. It's not hard to comply, especially when using an email marketing program. Next up, be consistent in your style and structure. This will make your email feel familiar and further build your brand image and personalize your emails. Send emails made for humans. Use a person's name in your email subject line or body text, or even segment your list to send certain campaigns to certain subscribers. Incorporate strong visuals. No one wants to be greeted by a wall of text in their inbox. Make sure your emails include graphics and photos that aesthetically please your audience. And finally, track your open and click rates. Your open and click rates are an indicator of how your audience is responding to your email's content. Open rates should fall between 20 and 30% with click rates falling between two and 3%. You should be checking these roughly one, three, and seven days after sending. Okay, now that you know what to do and don't do, what should go in the email? Nearly anything is acceptable, but remember that ultimately your emails depend on your brand and what your clients are looking for. Try things like seasonal products or highlighting services, promotions and special offers, upcoming events like new exhibits, an open house, a sale, or even a fundraiser. Oh, and industry resources and tips are always good. Long story short, if you're looking to connect with your audience, email marketing is a great way to expand your marketing without overhauling your budget. If you still have questions, drop them in the comments. Oh, and if you liked this video, make sure to hit that like button. I'm Sarah from Third Angle. Thanks for watching. Wanna dive deeper? Awesome. Check out our video, What is Direct Mail Marketing? Where I tell you about email marketing's offline counterpart. And if you enjoy this kind of content, then make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload.